Hey everyone, welcome back to another day in LEGO Skynet, uh, also known as LEGO Digital Designer, but um, the minifigs don't need to know that. I'm going to show you guys how to add decorated torsos into your builds today. Uh, I'm going to start out on the main tab and then go to the extended tab. So let's start on the main tab here on our nice new build floor. Uh, torsos can be found in the minifig section over here. I'm going to go ahead and narrow this down and search upper... Uh, I think, is it upper body? Well, upper brings up most of them. I think, let's just get it all the way down to upper part. Okay, so if you search in upper part in the in the box up here, that should narrow it down to just the torsos. And since I haven't turned on any color filters, this is showing me everything there is. So I'll go ahead and, and widen this out here and we can kind of see um, that there's just a range of different patterns. Uh, there's a couple that are plain. Um, there's some that have uh, monochrome, so this one is all brown pieces. And there's a couple designs, but it's kind of limited. So some of the common ones that we're familiar with here are the uh, updated classic space jacket. Uh, there's something here from Star Wars. Um, and these have, you know, the yellow skin tone, the flesh skin tone. And you can even get this one right here, the Naboo fighter print. Um, so these are kind of your basic printed torsos. And if you go to the paint tool and uh, click on the torso, it'll pull everything up here in the build platform as well. So if you have something already in the model and you don't want to go back and change it, you can change it pretty quickly with the paint tool. Again, just clicking on the torso and it will change the entire thing. Now here in regular building mode, you cannot change individual components of these torsos. Um, notice that whenever I click on one to open it, and select a new torso, it changes the entire thing. So there's not a lot of room for um, changing and customizing in here, but there are a couple of options to kind of get you started if you're just looking to add torsos into a build in the regular version of Digital Designer. So yeah, there's at least some functionality here. I think there's a total of, if I open this up till we have rows of 10, we can kind of do a quick count here. Uh, so there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, uh, almost 100 torsos to choose from here. Uh, almost exactly 100 actually. So, you know, a decent selection, a couple of different colors, but not a lot of room for customization. Let's go back to the home page. I'm going to switch over here to Digital Designer Extended. Um, I think all of this is current as of 4.3.11. Um, so if you're not as familiar with Digital Designer, maybe go back and look at some other tutorials first. But um, if you don't have this tab, you should probably go to the website um, that LEGO still hosts. Now you can't connect to the internet with Digital Designer anymore. It's just an on-platform builder. But uh, you can still and go download the latest version and get this extended mode for Digital Designer. Let's start another free build here. All right, this time, I've got upper part still searched in here. I need to remove my color filter. Can I do that? No, I already turned on my color filter. All right, whatever. I'll pull this torso into the screen. Let's we'll zoom in here and see what we got. So um, searching upper part filtered by black pieces only pulls in a regular torso. Now, notice here in extended mode, we have some options to work with individual pieces of the torso. You can't pull stuff apart. If I delete some, if like I'm trying to delete this hand, it deletes the entire torso. So you can't, um, you can't actually remove the individual components. But now when I come up here and start using paint tool, there are way more options for kind of um, customizing this minifig. So I can go down and paint the individual um, sub parts of the minifig torso. And as we know, you know, you can break these apart into hands and arms when you're working with a physical Lego torso. Um, but here in a digital builder, the most you're going to be able to do is change the colors of these individual pieces. You cannot take them apart. All right, so that's kind of how you would change the base colors of the parts themselves. Now, what if you actually want to have a different design? Uh, I'll zoom in up at the top here. We got to go to the decoration tool. Again, this is something that's only available in extended mode, so you can't do this in regular building mode. Once you have this selected, you can click on the torso, and uh, now we can see we have a whole new world of options for adding decorations to the torso. In fact, we don't even have to choose a decoration that is, that's been used on the base color before. 
Um, so you can kind of get these combinations that wouldn't otherwise exist. So the red um, male jacket has only been used on red torsos before, but here in Digital Designer, you can just kind of add it as a print on any color torso. Um, so let's put on a Ninjago one here. So yeah, pretty slick, just in terms of what you can do with um, the extended side of Digital Designer. Um, and again, once you have kind of a torso in the build for here, you can copy it um, and you can paint it. So to change the color, you're gonna want to go to the color wheel and then you can start painting stuff back to paint. And uh, you, can, you can go all the way down to the individual component. I'll paint the arms here. So I think that was the original color for Kai's torso. And to change the print, so you can kind of change the color and the print independent of each other. Uh, change it back over to this decoration tool. Click on the torso and yeah, you get all these options. So I think these, this box here has all of the options for prints and then you can just add these to any color. So we've got two, four, six, eight here. And how many rows? Two, four, six almost eight full rows so 66 different printed options or 65 rather and a plane so there's 65 total prints you can do um, I'm assuming that you can add these prints onto any color on the palette right here so if we print paint this transparent and now add a decoration yeah so that will just that will just allow you to put any of those 65 prints on any of these colors. I forget exactly how many colors there are, um, but that's a pretty big number of combinations. So, you know, for every color here, you could put on those 65 decorations, multiply that all the way through here, and you get the total number of combinations you can make in extended mode of digital designer. Way more than 100, as we saw in the regular building mode. So that's kind of how you would go about putting um, these decorations and different minifig components into place. Nothing compared to, I think, what you can download. Like this is this is just a base level program. I haven't downloaded any add-ins from another website. Um, I think Studio actually comes with a lot of printed minifigs preloaded. If not, there's a way to download folders and um, files to have those to be able to build with them. But that that applies to this program, LDD as well. It's just a matter of going out and finding these folders that people have added over the years and made available to the community. Um, but I just wanted to look at base level program, download it off the internet, what can you do with it without any modifications. Um, and as of early 2021, uh, or whenever they last updated the LDD, which would be 4.3.11, I believe is what I'm working with. Uh, Yes, that is what I have, brick version 777. So that's everything that's in here to work with minifigs. Uh, of course, lots of other things you can do with this program, but that's all I wanted to cover today. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on Brick System Brothers.